So we're going to be doing a IKEA Billy Bookcase makeover. Something that's very easy to do. We're just going to cover the traditional backer board that comes with the shelf in wallpaper. Uh, now the first step here is applying the wallpaper paste just with the foam roller. Um, and it's important to apply it uh, evenly um, and making sure that you get all the way to the edges. You want to make sure that your coating is even throughout and the easiest way I found to do this was to make sure um, to work on one end first. Make sure you have every all the corners and edges completely covered and then work your way to the opposite end. Now that we've got our entire backer board completely covered in wallpaper paste, it is time to start laying down some wallpaper. So we're gonna lay down our first strip and try to smooth out um, the paper down. Now you're gonna have some air bubbles and I found this tool uh, that I purchased on Amazon. I found it to be a very invaluable tool for pushing all of those air bubbles out. Um, and making sure that the paper um, laid nice and smooth. Um, it helps if you start from the center and then just kind of push your way out to each edge um, to get all of the air pockets out. Uh, now you're just gonna have to work your way section by section and, and have a little bit of patience um, and just making sure you kind of check from all angles that you've gotten all the bubbles out. Because uh, when you have the air bubbles there, uh, the glue will dry underneath the paper and it'll end up like cracking or causing wrinkles in the paper. So you want to make sure you get those pockets, air pockets out. Now see a little bit of patience, you can get a really nice smooth result. Once you've laid your first track of paper down, um, you're going to lay the next one uh, right next to it and you're going to butt your seams up against one another. Um, if there's a pattern, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that that pattern matches up so that there isn't anything that throws your eye off um, once you're, you're done with your application. So just have patience here, take your time. Uh, don't be afraid to manipulate the paper however you need. Um, once you lay the paper down, it's not gonna dry immediately. It does take some time for the paste to set. So you have a little bit of wiggle room here. You know, Feel free to adjust it as necessary until your pattern um, on the wallpaper lines up perfectly okay and here I usually just um, apply pressure at the seams first to make sure your pattern is lined up and then you can kind of work your way out to the edges um, and smoothing your paper out as you do that and then um, after that's all said and done you're gonna go back over it again with your smoothing tool to get all those tiny little air pockets and bubbles out There's that smoothing tool. This thing is awesome. You will love it. I know some people have used credit cards, but this is a really nice, um, like a heavier weight plastic. It will get every little bubble out of that thing. So you're not gonna be sorry. If, if you're gonna do wallpaper application, get the smoothing tool. Once everything's all laid out, you're gonna go ahead and wipe down your surface with a damp cloth. Not sopping wet, you just kind of want to get a, a rag and wring it out and then wipe all the, the, the top of it off to get in, rid of any excess glue. And then you are going to trim your excess wallpaper from the edges. I left about a two inch um, edge or overhang around the entire edge of the back of board because I'm just going to fold it over and um, paste it down in on itself. Um, so here I'm just cutting the corners. Um, to miter the edges uh, so that you get a nice clean finish and not a lot of bulk on the ends. And then just paste the edges down. And don't worry so much on the back. If you get some wrinkles, no one's gonna see that. <laughs> Here we go, all done. Brand new backer board. Okay, here we have it guys, the final result. These are the IKEA Billy bookcases. 
um, with the new wallpaper backing. Um, I just took the plain um, black backer board off and covered them with wallpaper. Um, I thought the black was a little bit too dark for what I had going on here and so I decided to switch things up a little bit with the wood patterned wallpaper. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and I think maybe for a future tutorial I'd like to add um, some moldings here to the top and possibly add some book lights and I think it could be something really cute. So maybe look out for that in the future. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,